surgery on the deck. He's got strength, finesse, dexterity. He's got talent. He was their leading scorer here last year with 17 points and a big loss. Jay, we seen the, the game the other day against Pitt. Two lefty hooks from each box and a tip in. He's strong, carves out an area. And he is fouled. Kalichka's instant fan favorite. Dominic Cheek called for the foul. He's a freshman from Turkey who had to sit out the first 20 games of the season. The NCAA requiring that because Kalichka played on a Turkish club team. On a team that featured some professional players. He was not one of them. Kalichka made his first four shots in his debut last Wednesday. The Joe Missoula is his advisory told me. So uh, he, he said he's telling me all the right things, though. Joe, we'll see a little bit later. Great defender. Reynolds has struggled in his career against West. Has struggled in his career against West Virginia. That has continued to the first eight minutes tonight. Look at this kid in the right spot. Great luck. Well, let's look. Different teams from the top 25. One of the best rivalries in college basketball renewed this week. Following the inbounding action. And yeah, they did it against St. John's to get back in it. They're very listless on the defensive end. They may run the same play. Kalichla just wedged himself in there. Butler, see, look, I didn't take everybody out. He was in front that time. But, God, his hands are gigantic. He shook my hand and they were dwarfed. Look at him, a little emo. What a big fella. That's Playing right. just his third game, he's still getting into game shape. He's been practicing hard, but as he says, there's a difference. The team for Villanova suffered their first conference loss on Saturday. That 9-0 Big East start was their best ever. Oh, that's so smart. Going to get called for a walk oh, first oh, as he got the lynch in the air. And Jay Wright can't <laughs> believe it. He walks all the way to the far end of the bench to avoid hollering something at Ed Corbett. I'll tell you what, this kid is so clever. He was salivating seeing the big fella. Uh, you know what? He, oh, he danced. He actually. And Syracuse, the Orange now ranked number three. And Duke and North Carolina. North Carolina's lost three in a row for the second time this year. Subject to blackout in ACC markets. Wednesday night hoops. Final rivalry week on ESPN, ESPN360.com. What's one of your great memories of that great rivalry? Oh, geez, playing against the great Carolina teams that had Jordan Perkins, and Matt Doherty, Brad Doherty. You know, they had uh, nothing on everybody else and the ability to convert with no one on you. Yeah, that's what everybody calls a gamble. You take yourself out of the play. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love the international reaction, too. Uh, hey. Bob well, Huggins is making the point today. You know, sometimes you get every little hand check in this conference called on the perimeter, but then guys drive to the bucket and there's all kinds of bodies flying. You take your life in your hands to go to the basket and there's no whistle. I told him I wouldn't say nickel dime because of the recent decades been one of the best free throw shooting teams in the country. And they are again this year as well. No points for Smith as he heads to the bench with his three fouls. West Virginia. Another slide in. There's no way that Flowers is set there. Wow. <laughs> Pretty good penetration. And Pena called for the foul, his third. If you can't make this drive, there is no wow. way. Wow. Not even close. Whew. I mean, that's two, two kids. Our coaches taught us that most of these shots go to the other side. And they are incredible. Here's one and a half. Glitcher gets there a little late. Anything long. Just threw an elbow as well. Yeah, every possession is looking like this one. And then King comes over and blocks Jones. He's 